Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you two quick ways to check your backlink profile so you can see which links are coming in. Now, the first way is to go to Search Console. If you haven't already got Google Search Console set up, I would definitely get that installed because it will help Google crawl your site easier and it gives you a lot of useful data too for SEO. So what you want to do is scroll down this menu over here and then click on links and this will give you a breakdown of all the external links you have pointing to your site. So you can see here top link in sites and if we click on more then we're going to get a breakdown of all the backlinks we have going to our site. And as you can see here it breaks it down by site, by the number of linking pages from each website and the number of pages that website is linking to you from. Um, and you can actually change the rows per page to 500 so you've got a bigger list and as we scroll up you can click export here if you want to put all of these links into a spreadsheet. Now, one thing to note is that Google Scrawler is not instant when it comes to your backlink profile, okay? So if you've built backlinks recently and they're not showing up in Google Search Console, that doesn't mean the links are bad. It doesn't mean that, you know, the links aren't working properly. It just means that Google hasn't crawled those links yet, so they're not showing up in your backlink profile on Google Search Console. Now, super quickly, if you haven't got that set up yet, click on the website over here, click Add Property, and then you can install the details from here. So you can click the Add Domain. Let's put test.com, for example, just as an example. And then you can install this code to your DNS servers on your website. And it's as easy as that for setting up Google Search Console. Now, the biggest problem with Google Search Console is the fact that you don't really get that much data in terms of your backlinks. So you don't know what sort of quality of these backlinks. You know, you don't get any sort of objective data in terms of the organic traffic, how authoritative the website is, that sort of thing. So instead, what you can do is go to a website like ahrefs.com. You can sign up for a seven day trial here, $77. And once you sign in, you're going to get loads of data in terms of your backlink profile. So this is a much more comprehensive tool for checking the backlinks you already have in terms of the quality, in terms of how good those websites are and what sort of worth each backlink has. Now, if you want to see your backlink profile on interest.com, just type in the website that you want to check here. And it doesn't have to be your own website, you can check any website pretty much. And then click on backlinks. And from here, you're gonna get a breakdown of all the backlinks to your site. Now, if we narrow that down to one link per domain, and we just wanna check our do follow links, then here we have a breakdown of all the backlinks to this site. So it's way more comprehensive in terms of your backlink profile. You get a breakdown of the domain rating, so the overall authority of that site, the referring domains going to the site, how many pages that website is linked to, and then you've also got the traffic, so the organic traffic of each backlink, as you can see down here, and then also how many keywords each of these pages that you've got a link from actually ranks for, and the backlink anchor text. So what text have they used to link to your site? So it's incredibly useful, and also you can see uh, when the link was first seen and when it's last being checked. So, you know, sometimes the links disappear or they get deleted. With the last check, you can see, right, this backlink was last validated 12 hours ago, for example, right? And then also within your backlink profile, you can check your new, lost, and broken links. So if we go to new, we can see which links have recently been added so that you can see, okay, who's linking to my site and which links have been crawled again. Now, like I say, some backlinks aren't going to show up straight away in Ahrefs.com. They're not going to show up straight away in Google Search Console either. But these are the two most active crawlers in terms of checking your backlink profile. So if you want a reasonably up-to-date version of your backlink profile, Ahrefs.com and Google Search Console are the best ways to do it. And as we scroll down, we can see the new backlinks here. So when the link was found, referring domains, all that sort of stuff again so it's really useful and also you can export the data here if you want to put it into a spreadsheet you can also see which links have recently been lost so like i say some links are deleted you know some pages are moved around on a website maybe the link was replaced by competitors that sort of stuff you can actually see the error code so the reason that the link disappeared here and then which page that relates to which page of yours it's released to. And so you get all this sort of useful data in terms of which backlinks you've lost so far. And then finally, you can go to your broken backlinks, right? So you can see 
right, this website's linked to me, but actually they've linked to the wrong page. They've linked to a 301 redirect or a 404 not found. And so what you could actually do is contact these websites and say, hey, you know, I've noticed you linked to us and that's really great, but actually you've linked to the wrong page or you've linked to a page that doesn't exist anymore. Maybe you want to replace it with a new one. Here's a link. And this way, your backlinks are no longer broken and you can get them directly to the pages you want to rank. Now, another really useful feature of ahrefs.com is that you can scrape your competitors' backlinks, right? And then you can see, right, where are they getting links from? And could I approach these websites to ask for a backlink myself? So let's say your competitor's website is petfinder.com. You can search their backlink profile here. And what that's gonna do is pull up all of your competitors' backlinks. So you can scroll through the whole list and say, right, these links are relevant. I think that if they've linked to my competitor, they're probably gonna link to me and therefore I can approach them for a backlink. So yeah, once that report's loaded, you see their backlink profile here, and if we just wanna target one link per domain, and we only want to look at do follow links, and then also maybe we only want links from websites that actually get traffic, right? So you can say, right, minimum of 50 traffic, let's apply that. So now you have a list of prospects that you can contact for a link that you know your competitor already has a link from. So these are all potential prospects that could potentially link to you too. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please smash a like on it. If you have any questions about link building or SEO, let me know in the comment section below. I'd be happy to help you. And if you want more tips on link building, please check out my playlist on YouTube and you'll get some very practical tutorials on exactly how to build backlinks for your site that I know are gonna help you a lot. Two playlists I definitely recommend checking out are the Harrow one, that's an easy way to build links that works for pretty much any website right now. And also my link building and cold email outreach playlist too.